Well, it's personal between me and I'm going to do you some serious harm, you big stiff idiot. The Untouchable True School Sports Empire proudly presents something the boxing game's been missing. Hey, what's going on? It's your boy BT, and I came here to talk some boxing with the thousands of True School Sports subscribers. All right, so I wanted to discuss this whole situation because truthfully, it's, it's, it's worth discussing. Now, Eddie Hearn, he has a fighter, a welterweight, who was an Olympic silver medalist, decorated amateur, standout talent named Patrick McCormick. Patrick McCormick's like 5-0. and Matchroom Boxing's plans are to fast track him towards a world title and get him into world title contention as quick as possible. Now, in order to do in order to do that, they had a show scheduled for November the 11th. Um, they were going to fight for like a WBA international title, and he was going to fight a fighter that I'm very familiar with here on True School Sports, and some of you guys may be familiar with, and that's none other than the Bronx, New York's very own Pistol Pete Dobson, Peter Dobson. You know, um, welterweight, longtime welterweight contender. Has been overlooked, um, hasn't been able to get the, the fights to really progress his career, but he's been a bit of a, of a hard luck fighter, right? Because let's, let, let's rewind the last year. Last year around this time, Pete Dobson had a, had a fight signed with one of Eddie Hearn's other fighters in, uh, you know, the black Irishman, Kyle Mean Ogjarko. Ogjarko pulled out with an injury, you know, went on vacation, had himself a nice little time. And now he's fighting Trojan Troy Williamson, so we don't know what's going on. With... I, I I truthfully don't even believe like Yarko's injuries are real. To be honest, I, I I just think he didn't want to fight Pete. That's just me, right? Then Pete was supposed to go to Pete signed to fight for a WBC. I think it was like a international title or something like that. One of them WBC regional belts. He was gonna fight, go all the way to Tanzania to fight Hassan Muakinyo, who some of you guys may remember from fighting Liam Smith. Um, that fight wound up not happening due to something that was wasn't in Pete's control. And then now you have Pat McCormick, another fighter, the second, the third fighter, the, the third fighter in a row that Pete's had a contract in a fight with a fight they'd signed with who pulled out of a fight. And the second Eddie Hearn fighter who has uh, pulled out of a fight. So Pete Dobson's gotten frustrated and Pete Dobson's taking the, taking the Instagram and I'll, and I'll leave the Instagram post for you guys in the description so you can read it for yourself. And he's pretty much saying, look, he's already had his time wasted um, and he believes that he should be signed to Eddie Hearn. And to be true, to be honest with you, listen, the guy is 16 0 with nine knockouts. Um, he's 31, I think he's 31 or 32 years old. He's won a couple fights at the B side. Um, he did turn down a Virgil Ortiz fight. I was mad at him about that and I did criticize him for that. But nonetheless, he has, you know, had fights against, you know, fighters where they pulled out. They didn't, they didn't, they didn't want the smoke or they, they got injured. But, um, it's getting kind of weird now. Like either it's got to be one of two things. Either a, these fighters that Pete Dobson's fighting, that, like Patrick McCormick and Kyle Minogue Jocko, either a, these guys got no heart and they just don't want to fight, or b, they're just injury prone fighters. So it's either one of the two. I don't know. I don't know which one it is. But either way, Pete Dobson's had his uh his career stalled, and I just feel like you know, look, I'm making this video to bring it to bring attention to the boxing world. You know, Pete Dobson has been around for a long time. He's a guy that um. You know, I'm familiar with him a lot because he spent some time down here in South Florida at Beta Bay. But I know he's he sparred some of the best in the world, like Jerron Ennis and Terrence Crawford. Um, he's just been one, he, he's been one of the many fighters, particularly here in this country in in the USA, that sometimes you know the, the sports from a business standpoint in America. Let's just be real in the USA, it's it's kind of fucked, and a lot of times the American fighters get screwed because there's no real fighter development in boxing anymore. And so promoters aren't willing to lose money on, you know, upcoming American talent unless they're like blue chip amateurs. And so the guys that are kind of like that would probably be really, really good with some development and the right people behind them. They don't get a chance to really develop properly and their careers have no momentum. So that's kind of the, the situation Pete is in. And I think Pete, you know, it's been it's been tough for him. Um, I know. I know that he had a fight in that team combat league thing, which, you know, to each his own, I mean. I'm not the biggest fan of the Team Combat League. I mean, it's entertaining, but I don't think if you're like a if you're like a serious contender type of fighter, you shouldn't be doing Team Combat League. But it's kind of the space we're in in boxing where these fighters can't get fights. They, there's not a lot of dates. You know, a lot, very few uh, television companies um, are really investing in the boxing like that. So, you know, you got to do what you got to do to to stay active and make ends meet. So that, he had to do that and fight on Team Combat League. Now, to his credit, his team... The New York Attitude, they did win the Team Combat League Championship, so shout out to Pete. But um, I'd like to see Pete 
be somewhat um, compensated or 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 uh, what's the word I'm looking for here? Uh, just to be treated properly, because the reality is these Eddie Hearn fighters. I don't know what I don't know what's in the water in Newcastle or Ireland, but that I mean every time Pete Dobson's came around, they. I don't know what I mean. They get an injury. They they pull out a fight. I mean I don't know. I I don't I don't want to talk down on Pat McCormick or Jarko because I don't know them personally. But it's just like it's just it's just it's it's ridiculous. It's ridiculous. So um, I'm I'm just I'm, I'm just doing this to say, look, I know Eddie Hearn's got a whole slew of cards coming up with like uh, Devin Haney and Progre and, and and Bam Rodriguez and um what's his name Bam Rodriguez and. Uh, Sonny Edwards, uh, Diego Pacheco versus Marcelo Cosetas out there in LA. There's plenty of fights. I feel like Eddie Hearn, I don't, care, I don't give a damn who he's got to fight. I don't give a damn what opponent they can find him. Get Pete Dobson a fight. And not, not just that, I think Eddie Hearn should, should, should sign some sort of two-fight contract with him. Because how are you going to... I mean, you can say what you want about Pete Turner on the Virgil fight. And I, and I said my fair share of things. But, I mean... How are you gonna waste this man's time? I mean, this man is a is a is a is a is a not 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 only is he a fighter, but he's a man. He's he, he's a human being like anybody else, right? The guy has you know he has a son. You know he's trying to make some things happen in his career. He he does what he wants, right? He takes the fights as the B side because he believed in his skills and he was willing to cross the pond not once but twice. He had fights locked in to go to fight Eddie Hearn fighters on Eddie Hearn shows in 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 the, in the UK and whatnot and 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 both his fighters backed out so you know that's all this time he spent training preparing sparring that's time that he lost with not just you know his son and his loved ones but that's also time and viable energy he spent in the gym and he deserves like anybody else if you get screwed over like this i don't give a damn if he's the b-side he's got a, he, he's got a nice undefeated record he's 16 and 0 you know i know pete likes to talk shit i know pete's been around for a while pete's got a story you know why don't he get get, get him a little two-fight deal See how Pete performs. If Pete performs well against whoever they put in front of him, okay. Then you get in the, the third fight could be a big fight. And then you may have something there. You may have yourself an American welterweight. And you know with the way things are going in the welterweight division, Eddie, this, Eddie, this is a true school advisory tip. Feel free to listen. With the way things are going in the welterweight division, you may have something there. You may have a guy that could contend and you could bring fights to New York and whatnot. You know, it's just you got to give fighters a shot. And Pete, got, Pete had his shot. He signed the contract to take his shot, and it was these 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 European Eddie Hearn fighters, the Ogjarkos and the McCormicks. You know, they pulled out. They didn't want no smoke. They got an injury. So, you know, all I'm saying is, I don't care who it is. Just get Pete a shot and um, reimburse him in some way, shape, or form, in the form of getting active and getting fights because um, it's it's just wrong. And I know it's not Eddie's fault, right? Eddie, I don't think Eddie would sabotage these these cards i don't I, I, eddie doesn't sound the kind of guy to me right i don't think he would do that to, to pete uh, he don't know pete like that why would he sabotage cards to fuck with pete right um so i don't think eddie would do that but it, it, it they're unfortunate circumstances but he needs to be treated fairly and and, and that's that, that's what i'm saying I'm, I'm i'm putting this video out there just to speak my piece on it because i think i think truthfully is is really bullshit what's happening to pete dobson with the yog jarko fight and the Pat McCormick fight, and even the Hassan Mokinio fight. So that's the that's what it is. Pete Dobson has his third straight opponent pull out of a fight, and um, he here he is. We we sit here a year, a year later after the whole Ajarko debacle. A year later after the Ajarko debacle, you know Pete Dobson is what what is he now? Like 31, 32? Pete Dobson's thirty three. Oh my God, he's thirty three. So, he, so he's getting up there. Either way, just just give the man a shot and let him let him get a chance to make some money and and, and, and show his case his skills to the world because it's been a lot of bullshit uh, he's been going through over the last you know year or so. So um yeah, leave your comments down below. Make sure you guys hit the time to subscribe and like I say in every single one of these videos, you can love me or you can hate me, but I'm just kidding from Daniel. So until next time, thank take you rest. for watching another video on the Untouchable True School Sports Empire. For more great boxing content just like this video, click right here. And make sure you subscribe. Much love from sunny South Florida.